artificial intelligence or AI has had a lot of implications already on library marketing. And there's one more thing that AI is changing that we need to be thinking about. That's how people find us on the internet. How is AI connected to search? We're going to get into it in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Hi, everyone. I'm Angela Hirsch. I'm the person behind the blog, superlibrarymarketing.com. Head on over there, scroll all the way to the bottom left-hand corner, and sign up for notifications every time I post an article or video. You can also look for the Library Marketing Show tab and nominate your library or someone else's library. They're doing something fun, fantastic, notable in terms of library marketing. I'm always looking to give away kudos. We're going to start today's episode by giving away kudos. Today's kudos go to Thayer Public Library. I'm giving them kudos because I was playing around on YouTube uh, a couple days ago and I noticed that they are starting to repurpose some content from other platforms onto YouTube shorts. They take their TikTok, I think it's their TikTok um, videos, and they're putting them into YouTube and posting them as shorts. Now, normally we would say don't cross post from one platform to another, but YouTube's short algorithm for their shorts section is not as restrictive, let's say, as TikTok or Instagram. At the moment, they don't really seem to care whether your video has a watermark or coding from another platform where you've posted short video. And the number of people who are viewing videos on YouTube continues to climb. I think this is a smart move. It's a good time to experiment with shorts. And I wanted to give kudos to Thayer Public Library for doing so. I will put a link to their short the one that caught my eye down below in the comments. And now let's get into today's topic. How is artificial intelligence affecting internet search? This is a fascinating topic. I'm gonna to give you a couple of high level things to think about. These come from Christopher Penn, who's a marketing expert. I will put a link to his entire article about search and AI down below in the comments. First thing Christopher says is that AI-based search is becoming more and more popular among internet users. A study from the Wall Street Journal cited statistics that showed 20 to 40% traffic loss from Google search. Those people are moving to AI like ChatGPT and Google's Perplexity or Microsoft's Copilot. Christopher says the number one thing you, you can do is post more text-based content on your website. That would be blogs. That would be more text on your website landing pages. Move away from using graphics with text on it if you can, because um, the crawling mechanisms that these AI platforms use cannot look at the text that is embedded on a graphic. Instead, they're looking for actual text copy that's on your website. So the more text that's on your website, allegedly, that's the better way to go. This is also an argument for starting a blog for your library. If you haven't already, it will increase the chances that you'll turn up in search. You also need to pay attention to keywords. I'll put a link down below to an article I wrote about keywords and finding the right keywords for your content and putting those keywords on your text, um, on, on your web pages, I should say, in your blogs, in headlines, in your drop down menus, everywhere you can put it. Those are going to make sure that your library shows up in search on AI. I also, want, I want to give you a piece of homework. I want you to go to ChatGPT or Google Perplexity, whatever your preferred AI. Uh, tool is and just do a search. Look at your website and try to find, try to see if your something on your website will show up in that search. So for example, if you have a makerspace, if you go to chat GPT and you type, where can I find a 3D printer in my town? See if you show up in their search. If you do, I want to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments. That's it for today's episode of the Library Marketing Show, but my channel is full of other tips to help you with your library marketing. If you are interested in learning more, head to this next video. I'll see you there.